As an example in using the annuity formula, let's look at this problem here. It says find the value of an ordinary $50 annuity into an account paying 6% compounded monthly at the end of three years. Okay, so in any of these finance problems where we have compound interest to consider, the first thing that you're going to want to do is to find I and N. Okay, let's write down our formula. The value of the annuity is the payment times the uh, annuity factor, which is 1 plus I raised to the N minus 1 divided by I. Okay, so in order to use this formula, we're going to need to know what N and I are. Okay, so, problem says compounded monthly. That means that we'll need to divide our annual interest rate, which is given in the problem, 6% by 12. So I is equal to 6% divided by 12 convert that percent to a decimal, we got 0 0.06 divided by 12, and so I is 0 0.005. Okay, and then we need to work out what N is. What is N? Well, N is the number of periods, in this case months, in the total time, which is three years. So how many months in three years is basically what we're asking. Well, there's 12 months in a year, so 12 times 3 is 36. Okay, so now we have a value for I, we have a value for N, and we're given the payment, and so all that remains to do is just substitute into the formula. Okay, so that will give us the value is $50 times 1.005, that's 1 plus I, we have to raise that to the 36 power, subtract 1, and then divide that by 0 0.005. And even though the payment is given first in the formula, uh, I think it's easier if you calculate the annuity factor first and then multiply by the payment. Okay, so when we do that, We get an annuity factor, 39.3361. And sometimes uh, students will ask, well, I, I really need to keep all those decimal places. And the answer is, yes, you do. If you want your answer to come out correct to the nearest cent, in this case, we have six figures in our uh, final answer. And that means you need to keep at least six figures in your annuity factor. Now, I've written down all of the figures that the calculator, my calculator said, uh, and then of course we're going to round the answer off to the nearest cent. 